So you finished law school. Finished law school. I had friends that were in the pharmaceutical business. Another story. They were in the pharmaceutical business. And so I got into the pharmaceutical business. Me, this other, well, I was, it was my own company, but I was dealing, doing business with this old Jew and his other brother. And we making money. Well, I'm taking money, 100000 a week profit, 45000 a week profit. Wait, wait, wait. But still, you still go to law school to jump in the pharmaceutical game? That's where the, that's where the money the money was there. You just, they showed still, me how to make the money. Yeah. Once they showed me that, I'm like, why the fuck would I go? To, why would you go? Why would I go practice law, put right. a suit on it every day? When I when the money's make, right here. I can make the money. It's right there. So I was making money. And then I knew that I always wanted to do something different. And then that's how I got into the music business. Okay, so what's the introduction into the music business? Um, you know, it, somebody introduced me to Zero. And I wouldn't ask the rap. Oh, so this is way later. Do you, when you meet Zero, is he on Straight Profit? Like, what era of no, Zero? No, he was mean? off of Straight Profit. And at that time, he was... Which there's little describe, but he was with Presidential, mm -hmm. right? So he was done with Straight Profit, and he was with Presidential. Which I still think that one of my one of my favorite albums is that Zero vs. the World. Oh, classic! Yeah, I mean, yeah, classic. I, I listened to that. Classic. And of course, I'm from California. All I could hear was pop. Yeah, yeah. On definitely album. got that Tupac on that. Yeah, I'm like, man, yeah. I gotta, I gotta meet this guy. Yeah. But I did ask around, like people at Southwest Wholesale and other people, and they were like, "Don't fuck with the boy." Don't fuck with him. He on them drugs, do this, do that. And of course, you know, Donnie, that's like, shit. That's right perfect. up my alley. That's, that's my right language. Up my alley. Yeah. That's what people said about me. And I knew also too then that he reminded me so much of me. And just like that guy helped me with my dream, I just needed somebody to believe in me. And I just like, you know, I think all this, all this young man needs is just somebody to believe in. Somebody to trust him. And that's what happened. Just, you know, I met him and... What's your impression of him when you finally meet him, you know, versus the things you're hearing about him? It was getting that inside voice. As soon as I met him, I was like, oh yeah, nigga, we're going to do this. Yeah. We're making a run. Yeah. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.